Brought to you by TheMysticGambler.com, where you can learn, practice, and play your favorite video poker and keno games for free. Now, if you'd like to follow along or practice or play anytime for free, just for fun, come to TheMysticGambler.com and press Play Video Poker. That's it. Today, we're going to be learning an easy way to play jacks or better without learning the full complicated strategy. This is our pay table telling us how many credits we win per hand. Always bet five credits to get the Royal Flush bonus. Always play a game that gives you the highest pay for a full house and a flush. We're using the Gold Strategy Trainer just for comparison purposes, and we're going to play about 50 or 60 hands. The trainer teaches how to play perfectly. Since we're learning how to simplify the strategy, these numbers will be low. We're simply holding the best hands we can without learning the full complicated strategy. We're starting off with 10,000 credits. Let's see how we do after 50 or 60 hands. The trainer uses a stoplight warning system, green meaning good hand, yellow means iffy, red means do not hold. The best hold is shown here. And that may not be what we always hold in our simplified strategy. So let's take a look at that strategy right now. After the deal, if you happen to have a winning hand, hold only the cards that make up that winning hand and throw all the other cards away. That's because that hand could be improved to pay even more. Next, if you don't have a jacks or better paying hand, I want you to scan for and hold low pairs. This is crucial to winning at this game. Scan from left to right looking for those little pairs, two through tens, and hold them. Even if you have one or two high cards in your hand, hold that small pair. If you didn't win on the draw and you don't have any low pairs, go ahead and hold one or two high cards, especially two that are suited. But there are two very important exceptions. Sometimes you'll see four suited cards with the low pair. You'll want to hold the four suited instead. Occasionally you'll see three cards to a royal flush. You'll want to hold those three cards over your low pair and the four to a flush. And remember that a 10, which is a low card, is still part of a royal flush. Now if you ever see four cards to the royal flush, make sure that you hold all four cards. Finally, if you don't have a winning hand, no pairs or high cards, and you've checked for a flush or a royal draw, throw the entire hand away. So when you think about it, our simplified strategy only has four holds that you have to look for. I mean, the game will tell you if you win anything on the draw, so you don't have to worry about that. Just hold the winning cards. How hard is that? Check for a low pair. If you don't have a low pair, check for the three others. And if you don't have those, throw the entire hand away. So really, anybody can do this. Here's the weird thing. This simple strategy will return more than 90% of what playing the optimum strategy would. And maybe 100% more than if you played with no strategy at all. So let's apply our simple strategy to a few hands and let's see how we do. No low pair, so we hold one high card. All right, we have a winning hand on the draw. The machine says it's two pairs, so we look for it and hold it. Always hold the money. No low pairs, but we have two high cards that are suited. No low pairs, but we can hold one high card. There's a lot going on in this hand. If you have three high cards that aren't suited, hold the two lowest cards and never hold a suited ace 10 by itself. The yellow wants us to hold it inside straight, but it's not worth it, don't do it. No low pairs, but we do have two high cards that are suited. Two high cards. Really? So we go for the two lowest high cards, and they happen to be suited. The yellow light is because it wants me to go for a straight flush. It's not going to happen. 
Told you. Two high cards. One high card. There's a pair of sixes. Nothing. Just a lonely ace. Again, the yellow light is for a possible straight flush, but it won't happen. Well, well, a pair of fives. And it improves to three of a kind. Two high cards. We're not doing so great. <laughs> but you know what? It'll turn around. dealt winning hand. Hold the money. Perfect strategy says hold the 10, but we're not going to do that in this simple version. I almost missed that pair of nines. Remember, never hold a suitor dace 10 by itself. All right, I'm hoping to get a four to a flush draw here for you. All right, we have a dealt winning hand and of course we hold it. Hold the money. the way it works. Holding high cards gives you a shot at getting jacks or better. But finding the low pairs really is the secret to winning at this game, even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes. That's mainly because of the RNG or the random number generator. You know, sometimes it's in your favor, sometimes it's not. Even the best strategy player can have a bad session, or even a bad day. All you can do is stick to your strategy and hang in there until things get better. I really thought we'd get three or four eights. But I'll take this. I'm turning off the scan for low pairs. You're on your own now, so look for them. All right, things are turning around. It's weird that we haven't gotten any throwaway hands, but sometimes it happens. Maybe we're on our way here. All right, we're on a roll. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Stick to the program. I made a whole video about being distracted by those face cards. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for something big. Bigger than that, please. Oh, thank you. Ooh, four to a flush. Nice. You'll usually get one out of seven of those. 
Okay, six more hands and I'm calling it a night. You know, video poker is an enjoyable game to play. This simple strategy allows casual players to play longer and have more fun. And the return can be more than 90% of playing a perfect strategy. Whoa, looks like these flushes might be starting to hit. All right, two more hands and that's it. Uh-oh, this could be good. Whoa, we're going out with a bang. And then, looky here, we're over our 10,000 credits. Matter of fact, we're 55 to the good. And look at our stats compared to the perfect strategy. Out of 50 hands, we got 45 correct, 90% overall. Really not bad for a very simple, easy strategy. So if you've been thinking about playing video poker but not wanting to learn the complicated strategy, this is really the way to go. Thanks for watching. May the good news be yours. Brought to you by TheMysticGambler.com where you can learn, practice, and play your favorite video poker and kino games for free.